For centuries, there's been a big question on the minds of biologists. How many species do we share this planet with? And when I say species, I mean everything. Plants, animals, even the bacteria in the soil. And the thing is, this key question has still not been definitively answered. To date, we've recorded and catalogued over 1.2 million species, a mind-blowing number. But with an average of 6,200 new species discovered each year, 1.2 million is thought to be a mere fraction of the grand total. Estimates of this grand total vary from as little as 3 million species to as many as 100 million. So why are there these wild fluctuations in numbers? First of all, experts have been consulted to estimate the number of species they believe belong to different taxonomic groups. The trouble is, this is only an educated guess. Over the years, there's been many novel approaches to estimating, but all have had certain assumptions attached to them, which is why we should tread carefully. There are loads of examples, too many for this video, but let's look at one particular approach. A piece of research exploring beetle diversity in the tropics estimated there's as many as 30 million species of arthropod in the rainforest. That's everything from insects to arachnids. This was calculated by relating the number of host-specific beetle species to tree species. Just bear with me on this. If there's 50,000 tropical tree species, and there's a 5 to 1 ratio of host beetles to trees, and if beetles represent 40% of canopy arthropods, and there's twice as many arthropods in the canopy than on the ground, then there's 30 million species of tropical arthropod. Okay, that was a lot of info. But there's one main point. Often well-studied or even popular groups such as insects and mammals are particularly focused on, giving us an unrepresentative estimate of species numbers. So what's the current consensus? Probably a more conservative 8.7 million. But again, this research has its limitations, including fundamental questions like, what is the definition of a species? You see, different conventions for classifying species exist within the different strands of biology. A zoologist's definition of a species can be different from, say, a botanist's. This is one of the many potential complications for answering the ultimate question, how many species are there? So why do we even want to know? Why is it important? Well, it's a major question in biology one that's been plaguing the curious minds of our species for centuries. But more importantly, it provides biologists with a firm understanding of biodiversity and its conservation. The average taxonomist discovers 25 new species in their lifetime. And based on the approximate number of taxonomists around the world, and the approximate number of species that we now think exist, it would take 1,200 years to discover all the species around the world. Unfortunately, the extinction rate is now overtaking the rate at which we are discovering new species. So with a huge amount of certainty, we can say that species are becoming extinct before we are even aware of their existence. But here's a thought. Why don't you try and get out there and discover a new species? You never know what you could find in your own back garden. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil. And we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien, which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching.